Dan here, TSP Chops. So today is a bit of like a day in the life. So obviously the garage is still a disaster. Nothing has changed there. Um, I made a deal on a set of wheels on the weekend and the guy was actually nice enough to uh, hang on to them until uh, today. It was busy on the weekend. So I'm gonna run out there and grab them. They're a set of daisies, so I have a hard and fast rule where uh, I buy daisies. They're not... Daisies, you buy daisies. Yeah, they're not cheap. Whatever. They're not my favorite style, unfortunately. They're... Uh, they're kind of like painted in the centers. I like kind of as cast and a little bit darker, but... Such is life. When you see them, you buy them. Um, so we gotta go out of town to get those. Like a ways out of town. Yeah, an hour drive. So we just got home from work. Well, I just got home from work. And, uh, time hey, to... I just got off work. Yeah, same, same. So we're going to do that. Um, while I'm doing that, though, I want to take these wheels and tires off and, uh, break them down. I got a set of summer tires for this thing. So again, we got to fix this thing up for sale. So it needs to be, you know, shoveled out, cleaned out. I have summer tires for it, which make it look nicer. The real thing I hate, I, so... I want this thing to look like a Black Widow-ish kind of clone. It's not, it's paint's wrong and stuff. I get it. But I wanted white wheels. So I bought these wheels. I had them sandblasted and powder coated and they immediately rusted. I mean, I did drive in the winter, but they look like garbage. So I think I'm gonna sand all this stuff off and we're gonna end up putting, uh, I wanna paint the wheels black. So take them, break them down, bring them home, scuff them, paint them. Tomorrow, put the summer tires back on and then put it down on the ground and see what it looks like. Because when we took this thing to Power Tour, I it was, I think I had this thing for a year before we went Power Tour, maybe I was driving it. And it was awesome, but what happens is when we put all of our gear in the back, it sacked out the rear end. So I put bigger springs in it from like a wagon. And I don't know how they're gonna sit. So with the bigger tires on it and stuff, we'll see what it looks like. But it sits high right now, which I don't really like. So I have to decide if I'm gonna put a, uh, drop block in it or not. Oh yeah, I also gotta change the windshield in this thing. Forgot about that. There's lots to do, but that, uh, that's the plan. So we're gonna do that, day in life. We'll go out there, get wheels, get these wheels swapped, paint these. Danny's got some packages she wants to open. We gotta clean a bunch of stuff up. And we'll just kind of give this car a once over and make the list of stuff we have to get taken care of um, before I uh, list it up for sale. So. I'll get this all pulled apart and we'll see you in the truck. Oh, there's wheels and tires in the truck. We'll deal with those right away too. Actually, people had a question. About me? Yeah. What's well, that? Just because you are doing weekly videos, so a lot of people were wondering if you quit hair modeling full time or doing YouTube full time. Oh no, we still work full time. We just got Danny out in the shop now. And she's it's doing- It's summertime. Change of season. And She's uh, outside every day. Danny's doing a little bit of filming, and uh, I'm convincing her to do some editing, so I can do more ranching. It's a good split we have here. I'm paying her well. You're paying me nothing. That's right, because that's why I'm paying you what you're worth. That's why I still have to work full time. We're paying you the same amount we're paying Murder to do the podcast. What? <laughs> we're both. Don't worry, I'm getting wheels out of it. All right, well, we're back. So I bought these yesterday, just 157 uh, Steelys. I think they're powder coated. They're gloss though. So if we have any gloss black, but here's the deal of the day today. Set. American Racing Daisy style wheels. So these are my favorites. So when they pop up, you buy them. So I got a set of four. I think they're 15 sevens. I got a set of tires on them, just junk. 225, 75, 15s, but they're, they're good. I mean, they make for a good roller. They're four and three quarter, non-unilug. Actually, the guy gave me lug nuts too, which is sweet. So my favorites are the ones that are like brushed. These are like painted, so eh, they kind of have a torque thrust look to them, but they'll be fine. 
for something and they got cool center caps on them i've never seen center caps like like this <clears throat> so usually they're like plastic so i don't know if these are like old school or what <clears throat> but uh oh huh. i didn't quite look there's they're like siliconed in but they're kind of neat looking so we'll do that and then so i broke these down I didn't realize I had staggered wheels. Well, realize and remember. So these, are these sevens or these eights? So those are eights. <laughs> and the fronts here, I think these are skinnier than these ones. Yeah. Well, maybe those are sixes and those are sevens. Let's get a tape on it real quick. Ugh. Dan's Wheel Emporium. These might be F5s. Yeah. So that's a five, that's a six, that's a seven. Fives are hard to come by. Fives are hard to come by. I was telling Danny that when I took what I got. I'm like, oh, I forgot that that's what, uh, that's what those were. So I don't have any glass, gloss black, but I'm thinking I'm gonna keep these for myself because those are hard to come by. Put those in the front. And then uh, those on the back, we'll scuff them up, paint them black. And then I got a set of, uh, huh, I might've put them on this actually, 275s. We'll see, I got some tires somewhere kicking out back there because it had winter tires on it. So why wouldn't you? So I'll get this all unloaded and then uh, we'll scuff the wheels. Hopefully I got some paint and we'll let them kind of dry for a bit and carry on the next project. Well, I guess we gotta go next door and start cleaning up. Someone's gotta do that this out of the way so you don't have a trip and fall Stop. it's the it's a new day i changed the tires um i just put the summers on as so we run this thing all the time but i painted the wheels black i just i like it better i think with all the decals and all that off or artwork off it will uh it'll look a little more normal i'm fighting out if i should drop it down but i think maybe we'll just leave it as is someone's in the comments that oven cleaner takes off this uh style of paint which would be nice so we'll run out and get some of that uh, for the next video now you're not gonna leave just like this one on because this one's kind of cool uh you know what i think i want it all off just oh. if someone else once it's their car they can decide so i have a pile of stuff out there which we got to go through that's all like tri five stuff miscellaneous they can either go on this car or to that car or some spare parts for myself did you change the setting on this to what outside yes okay so we should be good on that. Now, I think what I want to make is a list of what we got to do to this car in the short term. Now, the windshield is beyond broken. Like, it's so bad. Like, all of it. I don't even understand that. So, glass. I have a windshield in the basement. Actually, the rubber looks really good on this one. We never changed the window on this one, I don't think, eh? I don't remember. We got that. It has an exhaust leak. I, got, I don't remember what side it was on. But there's the ignition. Maybe it doesn't have an exhaust leak. I thought it did. Maybe it's set, built, fixed itself. I thought it had one. Oh, yeah. That side. It's annoying when you're driving. Well, it makes that click, click, click noise, which is super annoying. But the uh, you smell it inside. So, driver side exhaust. One of those pulleys making noise, but that's another guy's problem. We gotta clean this thing. Clean. Have we ever cleaned this thing? I don't think we have. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking in it, and there's still like the mirrors from when we had like the Griswold deal, and that was like. A year and a half ago. Remember that? <laughs> so I got this. Yeah, there's like a Dr. Pepper from who knows when. There is stuff everywhere. So we gotta clean all that up. Tires are done. Oh, I gotta fix the trunk. Because of the hinge. Trunk. Hinge. And I ordered keys for it. And keys. So we gotta get that done. Oh, front bumper. 
front bumper seats. I don't have a rear seat. I might have to steal yours. What do you mean mine? Like the, the pink, pink one? one? No. What else has a seat? That 56 is a seat we could steal out of. Can't put a seat in this thing. Do that. Then we'll need a seat for the 56. We don't have any friends, remember? We haven't had a seat in this thing since day one. The passenger window doesn't go down for some reason. You broke that, right? I didn't break it. It just doesn't have a pulley thing. What? No, it just... Doesn't it stick or something? I don't know. Oh, the trim here, which I think I have. I don't think this window goes down. Yeah, something is... I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. The other passenger. So we got that stuff. <laughs> and then some general wiring. I think I have a, the top for the motor, maybe. Maybe we gotta take the plow accessories off. Actually, plow slash wiring. What else did I say? Oh yeah, engine cover. If I have one, engine cover. And I think that's kind of it. Where did I put those trim pieces? I literally just thought I saw them in a weird place, and I was like, that's a weird place for that trim stuff to be. I didn't move it. We'll have to look. Maybe it's in one of those boxes. It'd be nice if I had the door trim. So that does set this thing off a little bit. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. Oh, mud flaps and jack off the back. High lift jack off the back, just so we're clear. Jack. <laughs> what? Don't laugh. Okay. I think all the lights work. I think we have. I think everything is pretty cool in this thing. Yeah. Oh, license plate, light. I have a different trim piece for it I want to give with one of the cars. License light. I think that's it. We have to take off the stickers. Oh, yeah, we'll take those stickers off. We don't want to support David Newburn. You know what we could do actually instead? Check this out. We'll just do that. And here's here's a trailer fender. So it's that. Is that gonna come off the window, this permanent so it's, marker? Oh yeah, so that's fine. And then this is like a little hitch. You know what I mean? Trailer queen. Kinda looks like a man with an arm, but there you go. <laughs> it's pretty sad taking out the power tour decal. Maybe we should take the glass out of this and put in another car. Like your car. It's the old switcheroo. No, we're not doing that. Okay, so that's all we gotta do there. I'm gonna let's let's gear up and we'll go through some of the stuff and see what goes to what car. And then Danny had some packages she wants to open, which uh, which you guys had sent to us. We usually do it on Danielle's channel, but you know what? I always feel like not everyone gets to see that we open them and I, I really do appreciate it. So we'll jam it into a video. Hopefully you guys wanna watch that. Shmoo is also on hiatus during daily video time. Yes. Danny's too busy. You're filming all my Shmoo! <laughs> I'm filming all of it, yeah. Okay. Man, this car's cool. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go through the garbage. Do, we just, do you want me to cut or should we just walk over there? We'll cut. Well, we need a, we need a hard break. <laughs> let's just we walk need, over No, there. we need a side swipe. <laughs> just walk. And we're back. Um, so now I've been collecting... Oh Tri-Fi parts. Now the issue is knowing what goes where. I'm pretty sure this is hardtop stuff, which I bought. So again, the hardtop being a shorter roof line, these are unique. So I'm gonna put these aside I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Otherwise, stand stuff, I have lots of. These are all corner pieces, which I'm keeping for myself. These are handy to have. This is interior bits for the back windows. So that's that. Oh, this is, I actually want to, it's a rear light, so we'll give that to that car. Look at that, it's pretty good. This car has no heating system in it. So that's, that's 57 Chevy right there. This is a headlight bucket, which is mine. This is, this is probably, well, it's actually for your car. You want this? Yeah. <laughs> that's the trim because I put in that one this one's base model doesn't need it doesn't have it this is sedan rear window cranks um, which I took out of something but I didn't put in anything you know I might give that to this guy if he wants them did I just put this down here 
Yep. So that I want to keep for myself. These are head. I might need this for that. Those are for the bumper. Miscellaneous fuel stuff. Oh, there's pool stuff in here. I think all this. Oh no, this is for that car. This is for that car. This so the way 57s are. This goes on the firewall. Then this goes. Oh, there's a little boot between the two of them. And then the fan, which is probably this one, goes in there. And that's how the factory deal works. And then behind this is the heater core, which we neglected to put on. This whole shifter mechanism and everything is for the 57. Which 57? This 57, Danielle? Hey, <laughs> we're you're going between two right now. That. This is trim for this, which I think it needs. Despite what the internet believed all winter, this is a 57, not a 55. Oh, so this is all good stuff. So this one's missing a few things here. But, yeah, so that's there. We have that piece. And then we have the top bit. So we're just missing this little section, which I don't know if I have. But we'll put that all there. Worst case, you know what we could probably do? I probably have another one of these. We could just slice and dice. So that's good. Everything has taillights in it, so I get to keep that for myself. So that's, that box is a keeper. I have doubles of these. This must be... Well, it's mine now. Mine! So we'll put this in the mine box. That was the mine box. Oh, is it? That's just not too bad. And in here, yeah, this is all just. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Whoa, our oh, no. door hook. I want this. Well, there you go. I was, I was keeping it there for you. This is actually one of your Christmas gifts. Well, I did get two this year. Okay. I think, that, <laughs> I think that's it. This actually is probably for this piece. Yeah, it is. Mint, so we'll have that. So then we're just missing, just missing this top bit. So these are actually both the same. So we'll keep one for ourselves as well. There we have it. Organized. Actually, I don't know what's in this car. We gotta go through it yet, but I think we'll do that maybe on the next video. God, is there stuff in here? You want to go get parcels? Yeah. We're going to go through all that. Okay. So I'll clean up the garbage a little and uh, make a little care pack just for each one of the cars. Tie them up with a bow. And we'll be right back. We're here. Let's open up some stuff. We're using the one hand Leatherman because Danielle uh, didn't go get my other one, which I don't know what to do with it. This one's got black paint all over it. It's almost like someone left it out while he was uh, painting. Well, this is from... Matthew Curtis. Thank you, buddy. The tape, the top's taped up like crazy, so we'll see if we can get in the bottom. Hopefully nothing falls out. Man, it's like, there's like dirt and garbage in the tape. See, oh, oh man. Man, this is good stuff. We can literally put this together right now. These are headlight bucket deals for the headlight buckets, which don't have the centers. Come in. And then, Exhaust valve of some sort for some reason. Miscellaneous. Oh, rotors. That's what those are. Oh, perfect. Let's put that in there right now. Get that all dialed together. Oh, there's... don't worry, I'll get those later. A bunch of these things. Oh, wow, look at it. I have so many. I can use those. What are these? Like they're holding gauges in? Must be her lights. I've seen this. People watching slam stuff on the paint are probably. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So oh these must be, you know, these are 57 these. That's exactly what they are. Oh mint! And these are buggered. Perfect. Wow, Curtis. He knows. Coming in clutch. Oh, and man. A little tumbler 
for the uh what is this hmm. i don't know what that is i'm sure someone in the comment section is smarter than i am well everybody in the comment section is smarter than i am and perfect circle one lifter that's big Google what that is. There you go. <laughs> a bunch of random goodness. Thanks, Curtis. We got a, uh, I'm assuming it's a t shirt from. from I don't think it says on the package, but that's from Bruce. Brucey. See if you got my size, size right. Oh, yeah, double X. He knows. Well, thanks, buddy. We got a Nova on there. A couple of Novas. Bitchin'. We'll wear that for sure. I always wear t-shirts. I am hard on them. This one's double wrapped. Ooh. Well, Matthew Curtis again. Matthew Curtis. Is that what that one was from? Is this one Matthew Curtis or Curtis Matthew? I don't remember. Yeah, this one's also Matthew Curtis. Is that a winch box? Oh, sorry. I think it's more stuff. Oh, it is. This is better than swap me. Oh, man. 56 Chevy taillights. Oh, look at all these rockets. This must be cut off. Is that what that is? Yeah. I've never seen someone do that. Someone <laughs> trimmed it. I wonder if someone did that as like a hot rod deal back in the day. He left it open or something. Oh. That's different. But I mean, hey, it's, I mean, really, it's the, I'm sure that's the piece we really care about. Bumper brackets. 56 stuff, wow. Main bearing oil seal set. For a six cylinder Chevy, cool. All good stuff. Oh, these are handy to have. 56 lights. Man, look at all that. the heck is this? I mean, it's a, a high-low beam, I guess, but I've never seen one like that before. Do a little looking around. Oh! And wiper stuff. Oh, and a wiring harness for the for a hood bar. Good haul. Okay. And what's this one? This one's kind of heavy. Antique car parts. Unless it's also from him. This is, the whole deal was from him. Holy moly. Man. Look at all this. Spoiled, he really went for it here, yeah. Hopefully I don't cut into him. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. Man, they didn't screw around with the taping either. All sorts of trim bits. Man, that's awesome. So 56 Chevy. All sorts of 56 Chevy front stuff. Which That'll is be actually, perfect for the Rob Montana. It will be, yeah. Part of a floor patch, maybe? Is that what this is? Oh, it's a headlight. Two headlight buckets. Look at that. This actually, that Rod and Banana needs these. Both of them are a foobar. And since they're pre-rusted, they'll, they'll just weld right on. Oh, yeah. Tail it. Oh, Ooh, I love these whoa. taillights with a little thing in them. What, what car has this? My... I think I put them on the Nomad. Someone actually sent a set there as well. I put them on there. Yeah, headlights, taillights. Look at that, three of these. This goes on the hood. Man. Well, thank you, sir, very much. Thank you so much, Curtis and Bruce. Promise to use them. Man, look at that stuff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we can use both those and this one here it's almost like he watches the videos and knows my pain as if we like timed it per i had no idea what was in those boxes at the end of the day if you send something for 57 chevy there's probably a good chance that <gasps> <gasps> worked out pretty good eh that's awesome let's go through the backyard of doom and see if we've got for bumpers I don't think we have any bumpers here. That's all 56 stuff. 
Look at the pile of wheels we have here too now. Some might say you have a problem. I need more cars for all the wheels. Huh. Oh, here's one. This might even be the bumper for that car. Because it was a base model. Whoops. Okay, so yeah. Oh yeah, this is the bumper for it. So we have the bumper. Is there anything else I was looking for? Seat backs. I don't think I have seat backs. I think that's all the gear I got, unless there's something in that car, which I don't know. Okay, well, we'll have to, I'll drag that out. Maybe we'll put the bumper on that thing. Get a few more things together, and then we gotta run out. We'll get some uh, oven cleaner. I dragged the bumper around, but let's take, ouch. Uh, start taking some of this goofiness off this thing. How do I lose another Leatherman? What's going on here? Um, some of the crap off of it. We need crap. Yeah, you're right. This is all treasures. What am I saying? Oh, these are. What did I do here? This is gonna be a hassle. Yeah, this is like an ingenious little setup I put on here. Wing nut it on. Oh, and there's a nut and bolt. I must use like stainless hardware for this not to have rotten. Look at that. I love the high lift jack. People are always like, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah, I don't know, dude, but I'm doing it. Where are we gonna put this one? You want it on your car? I do not. Oh, I, I mean, it's built. All it needs is two holes drilled in the 57 Chevy. I don't think it suits bumper. the stripper glitter vibe. Oh, I think you're wrong. Ouch. We could paint it pink and then it was. That's just ridiculous. Why would we do something like that? Come on, we have taste around here. I think a lot of the internet would disagree. What? We're very unique. Would yeah. you like me to? Uh, would you like me to take care of your headliner with some zip ties? <laughs> Man, the internet really let me have it on that one, eh? Between the headliner and the no dash pad, I think you really lost them. You made a statement. They'll be back. They always come back. I guess I should probably loosen some of these too now, eh? Man, look at this ingenious. What is this even used for? This jack? Bumper jack, high lift jack, jack all. Four by four. Oh. If you ever get stuck, you can. My plan was just jack it up by the bumper and then put like a mud flap that we don't have under the tire or something like that and get unstuck, you know? Yeah. It's like old school. Griswold stuff. Oh, now we got holes in the bumper though. Hopefully the future owner doesn't mind a couple of speed holes. Huh. Well, that's not gonna go. Oh, we might need a wrench on that one. Damn it. Okay. Well, you know what? We have sec we have more wrenches here. Who am I? Who am I kidding? Two adjustable wrenches. What else do I need here? Oh, and a 916s. We have a 916s. Look at all. We got it all. Is that what I used on this? Of course. Why would I use anything else? Everything's a 916 in our world. Well, everything's a 3 8 bolt. 916s wrench. Don't embarrass me. You know, in the last video, one of the last videos, he said something about a, a 66 Camaro. Being like really, I said it was really rare as a joke. And, uh, 66 Camaros don't actually exist. And I don't think people got the joke when I said the 66 Camaro was very rare. <laughs> because it doesn't exist. Because it doesn't exist. But again, my humor, I guess, is just too sophisticated sometimes for the internet. <laughs> no? I agree. As I'm taking my Yosemite Sam mud flaps off my 57 Chevrolet, Oh. Recently had a snow bottle. Yeah, this is. You know what make my life all easier is an impact, but I just put it away in the other garage. Also, this is full. Oh, oh this car is really nice underneath. I don't think I even did a floor pan on it. The trunk pan, it's mint. Wow. Oh yeah, this is. Yep, that's gonna be a struggle. 
I'll uh, go ahead and get my impact machine. Let's see if we can take these off, because this will fit on your cart mint. This will actually suit it. Yeah, I'd be okay with those. This is something actually somebody sent at one yeah. point. We had to modify them a little bit. I don't think they were actually meant for a 57 Chevy, but... I had to cut this one a bit for the exhaust. I'm going to cut them both a little bit. That could have been... Uh, they're not exactly a ligged up straight on the uh, on the bumper, I don't think. Or maybe the exhaust isn't straight, or maybe it's the car, I don't know. Yeah, I'll take these out. Wow, this thing is really nice. Huh. Oh yeah, it's got new leaf springs in it. It's almost like I spent a bunch of money on it so we could take it on a road trip. Seems like it. Hmm. Oh well. All right, I'll get these off and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna put a bumper on before we do that. We're gonna put this piece on with, they're supposed to have little clips that hold them on, but of course they all rust away or rot away or whatever. So instead, a little ultra gray, ultra gray silicone on the back here, if I can get to it. Oh yeah, just to hold the little pins. That'll be just fine. And however many minutes. Now, oh, old man knees. Let's, uh, let's put a bumper on this hot rod. Oh, I got a rag right where I needed it. I'm not convenient. Typically, Daniel holds the jack or something like that when we're doing this, so, oh. Actually, we can't put the bumper on because I have to cut off all the plow accessories, which I forgot about till right this second. Well, huh. I guess I should probably cut that off. I don't think the next guy's gonna want all the plow stuff on it. Dang. All right, well, now I'm going to jack it up. And I'm gonna, we'll be back when we're cutting off plow brackets. There is some farm fix on this too. They're pretty rough. <sighs> well, as Danny said, I effed around and I found out when you're putting a plow on a 57 Chevrolet, who's got the heater on the door up? You do. Um, then you gotta cut it all out. It's a bit of a hassle. So I made this ugly plate. And then actually this plate here was the original plate I put on when we, uh, Remember that time that we went down to Power Tour and we towed this thing, but told everyone we drove it and we lied to the internet? I don't think we ever told anyone. Oh yeah, right. We filmed the whole thing, but people still lost their minds. Anyways, that was, uh, I had that bolted onto the front of the frame and I welded it as well. So it's a little, we didn't make it nice and smooth in there, but you know what? The amount of cars I've bought and I've gotten, there's been like just stuff welded and, you know, torch cut off. And I'm like, what was that guy thinking? Now I get to be that guy to the future owners and they're going to go, what was this guy thinking? And no one, no one is going to be like, these look like 57 Chevy plow mounts. So it's a little bit of fun. Watch your feet. You're not even wearing, you're not wearing socks. Summer. We're not going to the hospital because you got a bunged up toe because you weren't wearing proper footwear in the shop. Okay. Oh. You think I can just balance this? Oh. You ready for this move? <laughs> Sometimes we just do this stuff for us. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, this whole channel is just for us. Oh, oh, oh my ears. Oh, oh. My, my brain itches. Yeah, I think that was the easiest bumper to put on I've ever seen you do. Well, I have put on a tri fi bumper a few times. But usually it's a hassle. Yeah. Well, you know, usually I care about the paint and all that, but not now. Whoop. Put one bolt in there. Whoop. <laughs> you showing us all the moves today. The boots? Moves. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm in the guillotine of 57 Chevrolets right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh dang it. This thing's nice. It's like totally complete under here. I forgot about that. It has all the the vents and stuff. Did I drop it? Oh, oh god, it's on my neck. It's in my hair. Did you see where this nut went? It's right behind you. Like 
like your head's on it. Just move your head over. Yeah. Well, your hair is straight. <laughs> Thanks, Danielle. Uh, what is this video? What are we even titling this? Schmozzle of DD Speed Shop? Ah, okay, one. What is it? The internet wanted daily videos? They're getting daily videos. <laughs> is there another washer like this? Where would it be? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, you have it. You don't even need me. <laughs> That's... Correct. So many people in there are like, be nice to Danielle, you need her. What they don't see is all the behind the scenes laughing at me. Okay, just get this one. Just gonna put this on with two bolts for now. Finger tight. Oh, and I will totally remember, this is not going well, to come back. Right. <laughs> We need, what we need is we need a reversal camera on you so people can get your absolute look of disgust. <laughs> Hopefully someone's emailing right now or texting on the comment section. Her voice. <laughs> Why is she in the videos? <laughs> a woman. <laughs> Why? She could be in the kitchen. You know what I probably should have done is any amount of sweeping before I dragged my hair through all that metal dust. Okay. Oh, this thing's mint. Let's uh, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed by this. <laughs> man, <laughs> I was laying the welds into it too, or the grinds. Like the back is okay. I think I have a header gasket over here. I'll just grab it. Oh no, there's so much stuff in the way. Whoops, I'll come back for that. No, you won't. Small block Chevy header. No, this is this is an Outlast gasket. Yeah. So now we're gonna pull this header real quick. What's that noise? So where there's been drilling. I think this is the one that was blown out because we were out uh, driving there. Actually, went. Oh. We went to like a tri five meet. And one of these was completely schmangled. It sounds like it was this one, but I remember we had pulled over. I borrowed some tools from someone. And they were both loose. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna blow out too, maybe. Yeah, we'll do this one side. I'll peel these bolts out right quick, and I'll, when I get it out, I'll show you compared to the new ones. And uh, fix this whole girl up then. I was gonna work on the Nomad, but instead of doing that, let's, uh, let's go get some oven cleaner, see if we can get some of this paint off. Well, cut the gas go, it's actually not bad. Had a bit of a blowout there, but I mean, like usually what happens when you have a blowout, it gets all this kind of coating gone. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep the old one, just in case. I could have sworn it was this side that was making noise, but it's not that bad. Or it could be a collector, which I'll have to take it to work. It's much easier to get it there and jacking it up and screwing around, but we'll put this one back on. Now, the nice thing about these ones... They have little cutouts inside. And even if you get a header that's all the way around, you just snipped out some tin snips or something. Makes your legs uh, makes your life a thousand times easier. So you can start the header. Of course I didn't do it off camera because I'm not that bright. Oh, and the exhaust is still hooked up, so it's a little snug. But you can just get the end bolt started ish by hand. This one has a temperature sensor in the way. But the back one is jammed up against the firewall. Okay, so it's held in. So you can kind of see all the bolts in, but there's a gap. So I'll get the other, the back one in real quick, which of course is a nightmare. Absolute disaster. Morski might be right here. Headers are kind of terrible. Oh, well, that one wasn't too bad actually. Okay, so now we have this gap. And you can take your 
I don't know if these have an inner and out on them. But now you can kind of slip slide this behind the plug wires. Jam it in. Just jam it in. And it's kind of in place. The nice thing now is because it's you know still loose, you can get all the other hardware started. So well, it is nice. Oh yeah, well you know, headers are terrible. So at least the gasket companies have decided to, you know what, let's go ahead and help these guys out. And I dropped the bolt under the car. And I don't know where it went. So, probably with that light. So I'll tighten these up. We'll come back, fire the thing up, see if it makes any noise. Hopefully it's good. This, this car has burnt through a bunch of header gaskets. I don't know why, if it's, if it's it is what it is, I guess. What I would probably do in the future, well, LS headers are kind of a pain. Small block Chevys, big block Chevys, you can kind of cut them strategically and bolt them when you have that big long plate like this, I guess it's just a little warp in it. And it ain't happy. And it's weird, because it has a bolt there, then one here, which between two, then double here, so it's double clamped, and then one. So like usually a small block Chevy or whatever has one on each side to kind of keep it tight. Uh, oh, I found it. Oh, we'll be right back. Oh. Action. Huh? Action. That well, was a little frustrating. So we got it together. I'm just going to tighten this side in case. I don't know. This side's ugly to get to. Like, ugly, ugly. That one's tight. That one's tight. He's, uh, oh, come on, man. I gotta stop buying the Stanley tool packs. I gotta say, they are hot garbage. Isn't this like the third one you've bought? Well, they're on sale all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and present Dan is like, ooh, a deal. And then future Dan's like, don't do it. Don't do it. And then next thing you know, current Dan's like, oh, this was dumb. These are all tight. I'm gonna go ahead and say, if it's still just making a racket, it's a collector. See, that's the problem. I just leave tools on the ground. Let's see if this is happier. Does that really sound too ticky? Okay. That pulley makes a bit of noise, but you know what we'll do? We'll leave this in the car. That way, if you need it, you got it. I think it's probably got a collector. It's making noise. It's just a little bit here and there, you can kind of hear it. I can see under there actually, maybe it's just a three bolt deal. This, actually the collector felt completely off at power to her at one point. Eh. It doesn't look blowed out, but you know what? It's kind of hard to see, so yeah. Oh, nice car. New floor pan. All the body mounts are still in it. Oh yeah, this thing's got three inch exhaust. Huh, that's why it's so loud. Well, there we go. I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I like it better with the black wheels. What do you think? I agree. It doesn't look as NASCAR-esque for sure. I do like the NASCAR deal. But, uh, oh, remember I was looking up here for this? There it is. What a weird place for trim. But didn't I look up here? I could have sworn I did. There's only one piece though. You're a disaster. <laughs> so I still got it. Uh, I think I just rattle can this door. So I think we'll probably do that again. With some like semi-gloss. Because all the blue is coming through. These are really nice doors when I got them. But uh, I guess we're going to leave it. We're going to go get some oven cleaner. 
and see if this will kind of come off nicely. I gotta say it's been on there for two years at least, sitting outside in whatever the elements are. And it's, I mean, the only issues are like rock chips and stuff like that, which I have caused. There you go. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I know it's a bit of a chaotic video, but coming up next, the next one will be just getting all the paint off, maybe convince Murder to come over and polish it a little. Because at one point, we polished it and all the oxidation and rust kind of came out of the, the, the roof, the paint in the roof. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, start checking away at uh, things on the list there. I'm going to miss this car. This was one of my favorites, but you know what? We can't keep them all. We got to keep building them. I say that about that, but I really like that 57 and then I really like that Camaro too. So, and I looked at a couple cars on Facebook today too. It's bad. It's a battle. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.